The, the rallying points seem to be play, uh, playing for Jet tonight. How much was that a factor in, in the way you guys were able to perform tonight? Well, yeah, I, I knew they were going to play hard. In, in, you know, Jet was in. I, he was outstanding tonight. I thought, uh, thought he looked very calm. You know, I don't fault him in any of the goals at all. I thought he was, uh, you, know, you know, for your first game in the NHL to play in this building, be from here. I mean, there's a there's a lot going on in his head, I'm sure, before that game. But, I, you know, they scored early. You get a little nervous for him. Um, but he settled in. You know, he he looked, uh, looked really poised in that tonight. I was so happy for him. Did the team seem to feed off of that energy? Oh, sure, yeah. He made some big saves, key saves. You know, they they got kind of a fluke goal in their third goal. And then Robbie gets it back, you know, gets us a 3-2 there. That was a really big moment there for us to get us back. And uh, we got a few looks. Uh, but he was solid. I mean, that, that kill, I mean, he was outstanding in the, on the, uh, their power play, the kill there. He made some key saves there. So it was, uh, it was a good night for him. You speak frequently of the team being connected and having to be connected to play well defensively. Was that, in fact, the case tonight? Yeah. <coughs> they're, I mean, they're, they're good. I mean, they're good at what they do. They have some uh, real uh, talented offensive players. So yeah. They're, they're going to get some looks, and, and their power play is dangerous too. Uh, so... You, you really have to take away the middle ice. They do a great job of getting to buy that first layer into in those soft areas on the goalie, and they just lay it in the pads a lot. Um, but they'll funnel a ton of pucks. That's, that's what they're good at. And then they got some pretty good finishers too. So uh, I, I thought the guys defended hard. Uh, they battled their tails off there in the corner. I mean, there there are a lot to handle down there. And if you don't if you don't if you don't kill the cycle or or, or, or pin them. And you keep them going, then you get tired, you get fatigued, and that's when mistakes kind of happen there. So, um, but as far as the effort level, fantastic. It's another night where both Foodie and Robinson chip in for you offensively. They do something that helps to, to lead you to a goal. Yeah, I, I, again, we keep bringing Foodie's name up. I think he's had a strong stretch here, uh, and not just five or ten games. We're talking, I think, around probably week six now, where we really started his game come on the rise. and. Um, Excellent game for him. You know, I know he's from the area too. That always helps. It gives you a little bit of energy, right? Uh, but he was he, he was he was attacking the game again tonight, and he started to see his legs. He started to see what he can do. So uh, another good game by him and, and Robbie too. Which I think it's his 12th goal. Mm -hmm. yep. There he goes. You know, he's contributing again, and, and not just on the penalty kill. And uh, you know how I've used him and Curls and and, and those two guys especially all year. Uh, but contributing offensively too, great, great to see. So was it everything you thought it would be and more? Or how did it kind of live up to the expectations of being out there and playing in this building? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of something you never really, you know, never experienced that exactly, so you never really know what to expect. But I think it was kind of a lot of emotions and stuff before. And then once you get out there and warm up, it's just another hockey game. So then you kind of settle in and just try to compete and help the team win a game. I was say, was there a moment where it felt like another hockey game, or was it that way just from the opening whistle? Because it seemed like, the, especially the shots you got early, I think it kind of allowed you to get into that game. Right, yeah, it's nice to get tested early. I think it was kind of... Once I uh, once I went out for warm up, had that little solo lap, and then everyone came out. You kind of get into your routine the same as you do any other warm up. So I think from that point on, it just it felt comfortable and felt like I said like a, like another hockey game. Yeah, and I think you said before the game you wanted to play your game. Uh, to me, it looked like you did that. Would you say that you felt pretty confident, pretty comfortable out there as the game went on? Yeah, I think so. I mean, obviously, there's always things that you can look at and improve, but I think for me, like I said, that was my goal was just to, just to be me and play my game as I always as I would, and I think um, I was pretty happy with that tonight. But yeah. obviously, some things to work on. I noticed uh, after the game, all the guys kind of came out and, and gave you a little bit of congratulations, a little bit of stick taps. After was that kind of a cool moment for you? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, that's not something you always see after a loss, but I um, I really appreciate it, and I think all the guys are great. Um, Guys really worked hard tonight. I thought um, really good job battling around the net and clearing out traffic and clearing out rebounds. So I think it was um, I really appreciated that that and the effort all night from all the guys. Jet, when you talk about your game, you know you look you're active in that, but not overactive. The, the, you're quick. It looks like you're always moving. You try you try to be that way. Um, I think for me it's just about um, kind of using using my skill set when I can or when I have to. I think for the most part I want to try to make the game as simple as possible. But then. Um, you know, there are times where I have to you know, use some more athletic ability to make some saves and try to try to compete, but I think it's just um, kind of having a balance, and that's something I'm always trying to work on as I continue to mature in my game and just trying to understand, you know, when, time, when it's the time to be efficient, when it's the time to compete and be athletic. I know you said it's just another game, but look, you kept their big boys in check tonight. I mean, uh, Matthew's only goal comes with when you're not in the net. Uh, you had those guys under control, and even though you're trying to look at it as just another game, Tavares... Matthews, those kind of guys burned down on you. I mean, that's the NHL. 
Yeah, yeah, no, it's awesome. I mean, um, like you said, you try to look at another game, but I think when you have you know those great players, which they are, I mean, some of the best players in the world. Um, it's those are the opportunities you play for. I mean, you want to play against the best players and put your, put your game up against the best players. So it was something I um, I enjoyed and I was looking forward to and really enjoyed tonight. First save was against Matthews. Was that, that kind of help you get in the game? I noticed that actually. I noticed <laughs> that. Yeah, that was that was really cool. That was a really cool moment. Yeah, but, uh, he's a great player. Yeah. I don't want to say like pinching yourself or anything like that, but you make an NHL debut and, and the building you grew up in, the families here, everything like that. Is, has it felt real the whole time or is there a little bit of you that's kind of like, wow, I can't believe it'll work out this way? You know what? I Everything's happened fast and I've tried, tried to really be just disciplined mentally and keep myself and keep myself where my feet are and, you know, not, not really get into it too much. But I'm sure there will be a time where it's today or after the season or whenever it is to really look back on it. But for right now, it's just that. Uh, Feels like another hockey game, a little bit, obviously, a little more special. Yeah. And it seemed like one of those nights where you guys were all pretty locked in together, connected together the way you need to be, right? Yeah, similar to the other night. I think uh, it was a good performance, and you know, playing defensively and, and hard style that we want to play. Um, yeah, unfortunately, we couldn't get the result because uh, I thought we put in some good minutes. Is there something about playing a team like this that you know is going to come at you offensively that allows you guys to be a little tighter uh, defensively, both forwards and defensemen? Yeah, all those things that you talk about, taking care of the puck and you know getting it out at our line and getting it in at theirs, they're you know, even more important when you're playing teams with such high-end skill. So, yeah, I thought we did a pretty good job. You know, we spent some time in our end, but you know, shutting down the middle and, and at least limiting you know, the, the great A's as much as we could. Especially on the penalty kill, you're really effective there as well tonight. Yeah, I thought we did a good job on the penalty kill. Um, and then, yeah, I have to give a shout out to Jet as well. He stepped up and, you know, what a moment for him and what a night. 40 something saves in the hometown, that's, that's pretty special. Were you guys kind of rallying around that? Yeah, absolutely. You, you want to, you know, play well for him, but, you know, he took care of his business too. He, he was incredible, and yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm sure he's really happy, and, and he should be really proud of himself. You guys too, all after the game went and kind of gave him some congratulations. After was that kind of a cool moment for you guys? Yeah, it was cool. Just everyone acknowledging, um, you know, what a game he played and what a cool night it was for him. Um, yeah, definitely go over there and give him give him some taps and some props, and, and you know, make sure that. He knows that we appreciate uh, what a game he played. Eric, it looks like you have that uh, shot from the left wing circle down in the last couple of games there. Yeah, just you know, trying to shoot in stride and you know, use use my speed to kind of kind of throw the goalie off. You know, if you can shoot it while you're moving, it, it makes it a hard save on them. Eric was just telling us you guys kind of used Jet as a rallying point tonight, right? Just kind of understanding how how significant the night was for him, and you guys kind of built off of that. Uh, yeah, special night for him making his debut in his hometown. So we, uh, we kind of said before the game, let's, let's give a good game to Jed here. And uh, he played amazing for us back there. And uh, every save he made, to give us some extra juice, uh, hang in there. And unfortunately, we didn't get the win for him, but he was amazing back there for us. You guys combined to get that, that tying goal in the first period there. How important was that to be in the game and, and stay in the game for him? Uh, yeah, for sure. Whenever you can get a, an even tie the game up when the, they're a high, high offense team, so uh, you can stick in there. And, um, tied up pretty quick. It's, it's big for us, and then I'm sure that give him a little confidence back there. Uh, we're in the game, and he can keep making some big saves for us. You've kind of been in his shoes before playing in uh, Toronto as your home. Uh, would you give him any advice before the game or anything to kind of help him out in that regard? Uh, I did it with no fans, so uh, <laughs> kudos, <laughs> True, to, but <laughs> kudos to him. It was his was much harder. It was amazing what he did. Everyone's so proud of him, and uh, I'm sure he enjoyed it. With all, he's probably got a lot of family here, so it's a cool night for him. Yeah, and you had the Billet family here too. Is a cool you had and to get a point. And, Play in front of them as well? Yeah, I haven't seen them uh, since COVID probably. I haven't seen them in a while, so uh, I'll go talk to them after this. But it was uh, nice that they came down to support. Pretty dynamic combination there on that goal. I mean, you use your speed. You get it to Kent, and Kent wastes no time in finding Jack in the slot. Uh, yeah, I was just trying to drive the net and let KJ do his thing. Uh, he's got some pretty good, good, pretty good vision. So I uh, didn't know where he was going with it, and I turned around and saw Rosie right there. So it was a nice finish for him.